part two of my video of making my notebooks. So my laminate came in and I actually got a little idea on how to make my edges straight when I go to punch in my holes. So I'm going to show you guys this process and hopefully today I will have all of my reading journals um, completed and then they'll be available on my Etsy shop. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I left this for the end. I did most of my notebooks. I've already relisted them on Etsy. I just reactivated the same posting. So now what am I what I'm doing is I'm putting the binding, which I decided to go with the black, um, because they're not quite a hundred pages and the gold loop is four hundred pages. Um, so I went ahead and went the back black so that way it's not as um, sliding around and everything. It's a little bit more tighter fit. So how I do things is, um, so I used to not do it like this, okay? I used to just put it how I wanted it and then put the, I used to put it like everything together and then bind it on the outer side but it looks neater and nicer when you do it the way I'm about to do it now and it actually does turn and everything so with making notebooks um when I initially did it this way when I first started making these it was hard to like get everything to turn um how it's it was supposed to um the paper would get caught and all that stuff so that's why I started putting it on a different way and then my binding would be on the outside and you'd be able to see this part so um, but this is how I do it now and it works and it looks good so I have my front cover um, on top my journal pages is on the bottom already stamped or punched and everything and then my cover this is the inside of my back cover and this is the front so I made a mistake earlier and I punched um, I punched it on this side, <laughs> but anyway, that's neither here nor there. So anyway, this is what the back looks like. And then, so I'm going to flip it over and line it up too. Now, I typically take this to the edge. So that's what I'm about to do now, actually. Um, I take these to the edge. Line them up, take them to the edge, like so. And then I put my paper, my binding wire through it. And I do this because it's, I don't know, I, you could use the cinch to do it, but this is just how I found that worked easier for me. And then I just double check it and just bring it up. Everything is through. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> All right, so everything is through. So this is how it will look. This is how the back side will look. So now this part is 
the, so a lot of people use the cinch to close this binding. I don't because um, what I found is that it doesn't close it the way I want. So um, I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it. I just haven't found that way yet. I mean, I know how to do it, but it just doesn't look right to me. So, and you have to like press it down a certain, um, you know, you have to press it down in a way where you're crunching this side without crunching that side. Cause if you do it too much, they won't be even. So what I found that works for me is, let me try to zoom in here. Okay. So what I found, let me adjust this just a tiny bit. Works for more is, um, so where it, so I'll bring it, straighten it up how I want it. Okay. And then I'll see where that bend is. I'll put my finger, you know, the bend is right here, put my finger there, and I put it just inside the hole. So you can see, let me do a couple more, it'll, that way it'll be finished and don't lose my mojo. And I try, it's handmade, so I try to make it just as even as I can. Because, you know, I'm not a professional. I'm just somebody who's doing this by hand. But you can see that's how I do it. So let me bring it up a little bit. So that's how the inside will look. And then when I flip this. So I put it like just below. Oops, you can't see. Hold on a second. Okay. I put it just below this um, this part of the wire. So it's just on the inside of the holes. I don't know if you can see it. So, and then I take it where it bends, and that's where I... I try to bend it. I support it with my finger because you can see where my finger is already like where I support it. <laughs> um, so, and like this, like so, and okay. There we go. So now that is all finished. Okay. So now this is the last page of my, um, let me go back a little bit. So this is the last page of my, my journal. Um, so now I can just flip it over. I have a reading journal. Um, and we can do a flip through. Just bear with me one second. Okay, so this is my reading journal. And I'm handheld <laughs> holding all of this with my tripod. So I'm going to try to keep it as straight and balanced as I can. So there's the first page. And you have a my wish list. You have your favorite titles, your reading log. You can rate each book that you read. And favorite titles. And then this is the book journal part. So I won't go through each page because starting here, after these four pages, it'll be the same. So you have your book journal and you can look a little closer. You'll see title, author, you know, you guys can read that, thoughts and notes. You can even rate it again and then say if you would recommend it. And I put some extra pages in there for notes. Um, this one too. Next page is your favorite quotes. And then it even gives you another note section. And then it repeats. So that is the book journal. 
Um, that is that. Back 